Good evening. Welcome back to PBS NewsHour. For years, Frank Sinatra scholars have argued over the final verse of his 1966 classic, Strangers in the Night. Sinatra expert James Fitzwilliam claims he's discovered a lost verse which replaces the famous doobie doobie doo section. For more on this story, Mr. Fitzwilliam joins us from his home in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Hi, Judy. Thanks for having me. Mr. Fitzwilliam, in case our audience is not familiar, let's play some of this iconic work. Doobie doobie doo, doo 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 dee da 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 ya. Touching stuff. This segment is brought to you, as always, by our sponsors at Pastor Mary Ellen's Pumpkin Butter. Pumpkin butter so good, it'll scare Satan right out of ya. Mr. Fitzwilliam, what are your thoughts on the doobies? Sure, Judy. Um, plenty of folks have been seduced by those sultry doobies in years past, but uh, with this new information coming to light, I would argue that those doobies are actually a mistake by Old Blue Eyes and not an aesthetic choice. Wow, that's quite an accusation, and one you've been making for years. Here to weigh in on this theory is your longtime rival, Sinatra canonist and scholar, Dorothea Llewellyn Ramsey. Hello, Fitzwilliam. You're looking sallow as ever. Dorothea, you old bag. Here to peddle more of your sycophantic nonsense? Let's keep it civil, you two. We pause momentarily to remind you to try Pastor Mary Ellen's pumpkin butter. So good, it'll scare the devil out of ya. Unless, of course, you are the devil, and then there's no saving you. Back to you, Ms. Ramsey. You assert that the doobies are not a mistake, and they are indeed not only canonical, but integral to the meaning of Strangers in the Night, correct? Let's play that clip again. Doobie doobie doo, doo 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 dee da 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 ya ya ya. That's right, Judy. As you just heard, those doobies come when the singer is so overcome with emotion that he can no longer form words. He clearly states, lovers at first sight, in love forever, dooby dooby doo, be doo be dooby. Indicating a level of passion that my ex-husband over there could never begin to understand. Oh yes, I could never compare to the Sultan of Swoon in your eyes. We're getting off topic. To clarify, Ms. Ramsey is saying that dooby dooby doo be dooby dooby is actually the emotional climax of the song. Mr. Fitzwilliam, your new verse seems to diametrically oppose this idea. Indeed. Um, I first discovered these lyrics on a trip to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ohio. It was part of a road trip to recover from my recent divorce. I'm so sorry to interrupt, but we need to remind the audience that this segment is brought to you by our sponsor, Pastor Mary Ellen's Pumpkin Butter. Pumpkin butter's so good, it'll force Satan to finally take out the recyclables as he leaves your apartment forever. Mr. Fitzwilliam? Why am I the only one getting interrupted by these announcements? Always playing the victim, are we? Swoonatra would never. My apologies. You were about to read the newly discovered lyrics, Mr. Fitzwilliam. Yes, indeed. Um, strangers in the night, you cheated on me. Strangers in the night, with my friend Johnny, caught you at Cheesecake Factory, sharing dynamite shrimp. Really, Fitzwilliam? Clearly, um, this is the denouement of the timeless song, Strangers in the Night. The message? All love must die. Powerful and incendiary stuff. Ms. Ramsey, your thoughts on this new verse? Regardless of the veracity or mendacity of this new verse, Sinatra canonists like myself affirm the essentiality of the doobies, which, though their form may change from recording to recording, the meaning remains immutable. Take, for example, the 1982 live recording from Sinatra's concert for the Americas. Oh, not this again, Dorothea. When the chairman of the board famously introduced what scholars refer to as the final doobie. Let's play the clip, shall we? He's clearly tired. Sinatra was never tired. Each doob contains the passion of a five-foot-seven Italian-American man from Hoboken. I will point out 
that this version is very distinct from the other doobies in that he sings ooby dooby 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 wah. This is obviously the wah of an aging star. At 67, he didn't have the stamina. You want to talk about stamina, James? And now, a brief word from our sponsor herself, Pastor Mary Ellen. I'm Pastor Mary Ellen Nielsen, and I recently started making pumpkin butter in my little apartment. And I tell you what, this pumpkin butter is a gersh darn religious experience. It's pumpkin butter so good, it'll scare Satan right out of you, or at least out of your apartment. I say pastor because I was supposed to officiate my cousin's wedding, and I got a certificate online. So it's legit, even if some people say it isn't. The devil loves to nitpick. My pumpkin butter is pure. So pure, Satan doesn't stand a chance. I guess he won't be leaving any more dirty dishes in the sink, will he? This pumpkin butter has only the finest ingredients. Organic, natural, free from sins of the flesh. The devil who lived in my apartment, aka my boyfriend Chad, literally took one taste and his evil behind ran from the righteous pumpkin butter of the Lord. I guess the devil won't be leaving his socks lying around the bedroom floor now, will he? <laughs> the devil known as Chad left me and I'm butter off for it. Sticking this pumpkin butter in my mouth is the only thing that makes me feel alive. Pastor Mary Ellen's pumpkin butter. Pumpkin butter so good, it'll scare Satan right out of ya. That's right, Pastor Mary Ellen's pumpkin butter is so good, you may even find God or at least get rid of the devil. Is this whole thing a fever dream? Anyway, back to the issue at hand. Miss Ramsey, dooby dooby doop, be dooby dooby. Dooby dooby doo, be dooby dooby. Ooby dooby dooby wah. Strangers in the night, you cheated on me. Strangers in the night, with my friend Johnny. Caught you at Cheesecake Factory sharing dynamite. Shrimp.